name is Zahira Harb. Uh, in Arabic, it's pronounced Zahira Harb. Uh, and I'm a senior lecturer on the MA program in international journalism. It's working with journalists. That's the most exciting uh, aspect, or one of the most exciting aspects about working at the journalism department at City University, is being so close uh, after a, you know, a period of time working in uh, purely academic institutions. The uh, theme of the book that uh, was published last April by I.B. Torres, uh, and the book goes around the notion of uh, liberation propaganda. In that book, I argue the notion of contextual objectivity, and I look into this um, aspect of, you know, what do you feel? How do you, you know, how do you report if you were a journalist reporting uh, your own uh, fellow citizens? Where does objectivity and news value, values and norms actually apply? in such uh, circumstances, which is a little bit different than when you're reporting on a foreign uh, country uh, where you are emotionally a little bit detached from you know, what's going around you. It's different. It's different levels of uh, emotional engagement when you're reporting on your own homeland. Uh, social media networks during the Arab revolt, starting with Tunisia, have switched roles between uh, uh, being uh, socially uh, uh, or driven by, by social interactions or have the role of, of this social networking uh, into becoming uh, a political networking tool. And that's what the Arab revolutions did. And this is how the Arab youth have utilized the social networks. So social networks has become this space, or, or we can call it an, a virtual space, where they can uh, 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 disseminate what is known as common knowledge uh, among uh, the population of these countries. And this common knowledge has transferred into becoming uh, uh, what we call uh, common uh, beliefs. And these common beliefs have transferred into becoming common actions and the actions we've seen on the streets. The Arab satellite channels, uh, in starting from Tunisia into Egypt, uh, or mainly starting with Tunisia and Egypt, were following what the social networks were doing, were following, uh, were picking up videos on YouTube, were picking up uh, stories from Facebook and, and in Egypt uh, on Twitter, and broadcasting them. I'm going to bring the experiences of the Tunisian journalists in relation to how they dealt uh, with uh, social networks as a source of news and as a mobilizing uh, uh, force and how, how they uh, tried to, to break down this relationship between their traditional media institutions and uh, social networks uh, into you know, the way we discuss issues around uh, citizen journalism uh, with students at City.